Another exam question here on NMR for you to try. It's a great one, this one. So there it is. If you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll go through the answers. So compound F has been dissolved in this deuterated dimethyl sulfoxide. That's just a solvent. The deuterium's there, so it doesn't give uh, a signal in a proton NMR spectrum. Uh, TMS is obviously the standard or the reference, so it's causing this little peak at delta zero ppm. So we've got the proton NMR spectrum and we've got this annoying piece of information that this signal here at 3.4 ppm should, should actually be 1 ppm to the right. So I've, I've drawn that there just so I don't forget that that should actually be there. Right, so we'll start with the infrared spectrum. So we've got this, the classic uh, absorptions here for a carboxylic acid. So I'll just label those up. That's a C double bond O. And this broad absorption is an OH of a carboxylic acid. So we can safely say that F is a carboxylic acid. Okay, so moving on to the proton NMR spectrum, we've got one, two, three signals. So there are three proton environments in the molecule. This one here is the carboxylic acid hydrogen. So it kind of confirms what we said from the infrared. We've only got two other environments now for the hydrogens. So for each signal, I would say the same sort of things. So I would quote the splitting pattern. So we'll start with the tall one here. So this is a doublet. What does that tell us? It means there's an adjacent CH, single hydrogen, so N plus one, one plus one is two. And the only other thing we can say is that it's an HCR environment. The other signal, this quartet that's one ppm too far to the left, that's a quartet. Therefore, there's an adjacent CH3. And the environment is H to C to C double bond O. So if we sketch out what we know so far, so we know there's a carbon with a hydrogen on with an adjacent CH3. And we know that this hydrogen here, remember this is the quartet, so it's adjacent to CH3. That's in the H to C to C double bond O environment. So there must be a C double bond O here. So that's got to be a carboxylic acid group, so it ties in with what we know already. Now you'll notice we've got one, two, three proton environments now. So we can't have any more proton environments, any different proton environments. We haven't got enough oxygens, we've only got two. So we've got another carboxylic acid environment on the other side of the molecule. They're equivalent, so they would still only give one signal and there's the other two so that is the answer